Do you want to audit your SharePoint environment? My name is Szymon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 AdWork. I will show you how to do deep analysis of the SharePoint online logs. If you're watching this video, probably you are the Microsoft 365 admin or you administering the SharePoint online environment. In such role, sooner or later, it will be required for you to do some kind of review, audit or analysis what happened on SharePoint, who did what, who removed the data or maybe who access or download the file hosted on your SharePoint environment. Why this is so important? Because many times SharePoint will contain the most crucial, the most critical data in your organization and you as a SharePoint or Office 365 administrator, you will need to provide the solution if somebody will come to you and ask what really happened there and who did that. You will see that I will show you a few examples how you can use available solutions in the Office 365 that provide you the possibility to audit and check detailed logs of SharePoint Online solution without any additional licenses. You will see that in the basic licenses, you have access to the 90 days of the data logged in the Office 365 environment. If you would need any more critical reporting, you will need to extend your licensing to get that. And as always, if you would like to support this channel and you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe to the channel. Now we will switch to my screen and I will show you what kind of available solutions you have in the area of the audit logs of SharePoint Online. And one more comment before we will move forward. You need to remember what we are talking about, especially when you were SharePoint on-premise or so SharePoint Server admin in the past. You need to remember that SharePoint Server gives you the possibility to analyze very detailed logs about almost every aspect of the SharePoint farm from perspective of the security, logging, errors, anything like that. Multiple ULS log viewers allows you to filter, sort and check any kind of logs on the server level. In this case, when we're working in SharePoint Online, we need to use the tools that are available and provided by Microsoft in the user interface. Of course, you can try to use third-party solutions, but I would recommend you to start with the few tools that are available on the Office 365, which I will show you today. You will see there are also quite advanced filtering available, but at the same time, level of the logs saved in the audit log is a little smaller than the level of details you will found on the SharePoint server level. Moreover, the second thing you need to remember on the SharePoint server, you have the possibility to configure how the audit logs will be set up. This functionality is turned off in the SharePoint Online. You can get to the configuration view, but you will find there the information that these settings are not available anymore because this is the standardized way how the audit logs are gathered and stored in the Microsoft 365. So remember, this is not the level of the logs you can get on the SharePoint server, but still you will have really good solutions that could help you to do the audit of your SharePoint environment. So let's stop for a moment before we will move forward and see where the configuration of the audit logs were present. In many articles in the internet, you will find that this functionality is still available. So if you will go to the site settings of the page, you will find there the functionality called site collection audit settings. In the past, you were able to predefine and configure these settings per every SharePoint site. Right now, you can see that this functionality, so any kind of log trimming or setup, what should be and what shouldn't be logged on the very specific SharePoint site are not available anymore. 
In the next chapter, we will go to the audit log viewer, which gathers the information across all SharePoint sites and OneDrive and SharePoint behind Microsoft Teams in the one standardized way. So you already noticed that SharePoint audit log is not available on the SharePoint sites anymore. You need to open the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center, which is rebranded to Microsoft PureView right now. And in this section, you will find something called audit. You will also find dedicated URL how to get here in the description of the video. But this is the place where you can do the review of the audit logs connected with your SharePoint online site, OneDrive or any SharePoint site behind Microsoft Teams. Remember that this solution contains only data available for 90 days. If you want to get longer access to the specific data, specific users, you will need to extend the licenses available for your tenant to get there. Behind this button, you will find detailed information about the licensing. In case you want to search through SharePoint online site collection and get details, I recommend you to paste the URL of such site in here at the first step. And let's check the dates from perspective of the three months. If you will give some time for your audit search, it will display available information about this period of time. You will see the IP address, the username and activity done specifically by that person. You can see that there's a lot of information logged in here. You can export all that data to Excel spreadsheet through CSV file. Plus, you will have the possibility to filter using previous screen. What I want to highlight in here, here you have the list of all activities that are logged across Compliance Center or Microsoft PureView in the Microsoft 365. Any kind of activity connected with the files, with the links, with the lists, with the security, with the changing the policies, also elements connected with the integration with the exchange, security features, Azure AD groups and security management on the SharePoint level itself. You can see this is super detailed list of activities you can search through using this specific log to get that information. Moreover, I use the SharePoint site, but you can use specific folder address or specific file address and see the list of activities available through selected period of time. You can see in this case, we can also see the information about the OneDrive accessing the files there, logging to Microsoft Teams or accessing the data through OneDrive solution. It's super detailed information. If you will need to do the audit, the review of your SharePoint activities, OneDrive activities or activities connected with the Teams, this is the solution you should use. Audit log search in the Microsoft PureView. Another tool which you can use to analyze or investigate or audit your SharePoint site is something called usage reports. You need to remember this is not the level of details that Google Analytics could provide you around your public website, but still you can get some interesting information about the hub, about site usage, information about the views, site views, average time spent on the site, information about the posts, about the documents, devices used, how the usage split between the time and how this differs in the longer period of time. So you can see this is more high level statistics about the usage across multiple or singular SharePoint site on the quite high level. If you need to go to details, you can download the data to the CSV file and work in Excel about it. Remember, only 90 days are available in here, but I want to share with you one more very useful report that is available in here, shared with external users. So this is the report that gives you the possibility to get through this SharePoint site and show which elements are shared with external users. 
If your responsibility will be to take care about SharePoint Online, taking a look about it could be quite useful because you can find that somebody sharing the data with the people that they shouldn't. And also you can see how this kind of setup looks like. In the other videos on the channel, you can find the recommendations about how to manage external sharing. But if you will turn it on, this is the space when you can check how your users share this data and with whom. You can also run this report and save it to the Excel file and again do additional analysis in there. I want to share with you one more useful report available on the SharePoint Online, which gives you the possibility to audit and review what happened, who deleted the data and when, or maybe how to restore the previous changes based on the behavior of the other people. This is the functionality called Restore. It's available on the SharePoint Online and on the OneDrive, on the specific document libraries which gives you the possibility to do something called time machine. So you can select the date, of course, in the period of 90 days, which you want to restore the changes. You can see there is no a lot of information in here, but you can restore any data in this period based on the reports presented in here. I will switch to my OneDrive account, which I will show you how detailed this report could be if the source is heavily used. So you can see I switched to the OneDrive account and using the same functionality, restore your OneDrive in this case, it's always available on the settings button on the top navigation. And if you will select three weeks, you can see how detailed report and audit you can have here. If you will have exact information, who changed what, what kind of document was added, who deleted the document and when. This is super useful information if business will came to you and says our data disappear and we have no idea what happened with it. Use the restore functionality available on SharePoint document libraries and OneDrive. Analyze how users behave with the documents stored on SharePoint. You can see SharePoint online does not offer maybe that detailed audit reporting that SharePoint server offers, but still there are great tools that gives you the possibility to investigate what happened and who did that from perspective of any incidents you will have on your SharePoint online. If you doesn't have any problems that you need to investigate, still it's worth to check this kind of audit logs so Microsoft PureView, Usage Analytics for the SharePoint Online and Restore Functionality for the most crucial document libraries on SharePoint to check what's happening in there from time to time. If you are the SharePoint administrator or Microsoft 365 administrator, these are the tools that you need to know. These are the tools that you should use from time to time to review the state of your environment and maybe found something suspicious or something that shouldn't happen in your environment. Moreover, these are the reports that are available for you without any additional licenses and you can review the data that will be stored there for 90 days. I encourage you to play with these tools, to check them. In the description of the video, you will find the link to the audit log in Microsoft PureView open it and learn how to do the audit of the logs available on the SharePoint online. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.